Okay, so Roman, your set was insane. How was it? Right, no, it was good fun. Like to be honest, like it's just like everyone's everyone's there just have a nice time. So it, it's kind of it's nice. I, I don't like too much when if you're DJing at an event and people stand behind decks and just have their headphones and they look at their laptop the whole time. So the main thing of today is trying to teach all of the BCU to the <laughs> Delhi Alley. Do you know what I mean? That's I it. Do, yeah. that was, I, that I can't do it myself, but no, no. I'll teach you right now. Here we go. Ready? So, this. We got this, and then invert the circle. So you're, so you're doing like a duck. Okay. So, so flatten your fingers here. Flatten my Push fingers the circle here. there. Oh. Oh. You see? Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Wait, no, no, no. Okay. Look, look, look at my hand. Okay. Yeah. Do this. Wait, wait. How oh, are we? How are we even doing thumb. this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then push your middle finger there. Yeah. yeah. Open this up a little bit. Yeah. Right. And then flip that. Flip that. Flip that. Oh, just. Oh, it doesn't work. It with doesn't. The no, I can't. It doesn't. It's That's the glasses, okay. definitely. Yeah. So, am I right in thinking you're a London lad? Of course. Yeah. 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 So you've grown up in London. Have you visited Birmingham much? Um, not too much. I mean, only. I mean, I'm, I'm an Arsenal fan, so the only time oh. I've ever really come up is is to see us against the Blues. For the games. Villa, for the yeah. games. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your general impression of Birmingham? Like, what do you think? What's your favourite thing about Birmingham? It's always it's always good. Do you know what? I do I do a lot of I do a lot of gigs outside of London, like up and down the country, and and I got I got to say it because because I'm a Londoner, I can say this. London DJ gigs is quite boring. Yeah. Outside of London, it's really good fun. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just there to have a good time. Yeah, yeah. awesome, awesome. And uh, so we've got loads of new students uh, turning up in September to start their new term of uh, studying and stuff. Yeah. Do you have any tips for them? Um, I think it's. I, th I think the main thing is making sure you're doing what you what it is that you want to do. You know, as opposed to you know. It's so much fun to be able to come somewhere and learn with loads of other people. You might as well be learning about something that you want to learn about, you know, and it's having a thought process about that to think, do I, is it really what I want to be doing? And have, giving yourself that choice, not feeling like you have to be doing that. Yeah. Good advice, very good advice. And at Birmingham City University, we have over a hundred different societies where students can run their own clubs, meetings and stuff like that. If you can make a uni society, what would you make? I mean, we've already got a DJ society, yeah. so that, that's that's off the cards. So it's just like a society. I mean, any type of club, sport. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a mad football fan, so it's gonna be something to do with viewing football, or I'd make fantasy football like a legit lesson. That's that's that could be one. Yeah. Fan fantasy football society. Yeah, a serious fantasy one. Yeah, but like serious, serious. There you go, fantasy football society coming soon at BCU. There you go. <laughs> And uh, this is a good question. So, yeah. out of all of time, dead or alive, who would be your dream lecturer? If someone was there to kind of give you a lesson on something, who would it be? Stephen Hawking. I was, I was, you know, Stephen Hawking. I, you know, it's so sad that you know we lost him so recently. But I, I think that man is just. I feel like he could speak. He could speak for a very long time. Not even that. It's just like it's just like what he did it within. Uh, you know, his his area is unbelievable, and the fact that you know what he's been through within his life. So yeah, I think he's a pretty inspirational bloke. Yep. Good answer. Good answer. It's a very serious answer, but yeah. Super serious. Yeah. <laughs> Super deep. <laughs> and uh, as you know, loads of uh, students are getting their A level results today. Yeah. Do you have a message to your fans? Of the students getting their A level results? Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, it's not. I think to anyone getting their A level results, you know, it's, it is one of those things of try not to let it affect you that much. You know, some people say, oh yeah, but you know, mine means something to me, and they don't mean something to other people. I understand that. I think, you know, they mean a lot to one person and not so much to the other person. You know, they see there's good and bad sides, but just try not to let it affect you and affect your goal and your dream. Just see it as, you know, if it's a bad, if it's bad news, see it as a bit of a tiny little bit of a hindrance. If it's good news, then see it as a stepping stone. Awesome. Thank you very much for talking with me. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.